And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the weigh-in for the main event. Twelve rounds of boxing scheduled as undisputed, pardon me, undefeated faces, undefeated for the undisputed light heavyweight championship of the world. Coming first to the stage, bringing a perfect record of 20 fights, 20 victories, 20 wins by knockout. He is the reigning and defending unified WBC, WBO, IBF, undefeated light heavyweight world champion, Arthur Betterbeer. <laughs> And now let's welcome his opponent. Also an unblemished professional boxing record of 23 fights. 23 victories. 12 big wins by knockout. He's the reigning, defending, unified WBA, IBO, undefeated, light heavyweight world champion, Dimitri Bivol! First on to the scales will be Dimitri Bivol, representing the WBA and the IBO, undefeated as a professional in 23 fights, 23 victories, 12 wins by knockout. On the scales, the undefeated Dimitri Bivol, 174.12 pounds. Next on to the scales, his record, a perfect one. 20 fights, 20 victories, 20 big wins by knockout. The unified WBC, WBO, IBF, undefeated, light heavyweight world champion, Artur Bidabiev. One hundred seventy four point nine pounds for better be and ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the final face off before they step into the ring, please welcome to the stage His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority. Turkey Al Sheikh, and here are the two fighters facing off for the final time. A moment in boxing history. It's been 25 years since we've had an undisputed light heavyweight world champion. Here they are, undefeated versus undefeated for the undisputed light heavyweight championship of the world. The special bell will be presented tomorrow night by His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, here in Riyadh. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a night of boxing history.
Do you know what's funny, Addy? As you've come to me, Arta just looked at me and said, we'll see. So that might be the answer to most of these questions. But Arta, how has fight week been for you? Good, like usually. What's your favorite part about these weeks? What can you What's your favorite part about these weeks leading up to the fight? Favorite part is uh, fi fighting. What can we expect from you and this fight on Saturday night? Like I said, we'll see. <laughs> I was expecting that. And people probably want to know, uh, you as a fighter, what do you do between now and tomorrow night? What are your plans for the next 24 hours? Be, be quiet and uh, getting ready to fight. Arta, thank you so much. Good luck on Saturday night. Thank you very much. I am here with the other unified light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bivol. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if I've ever seen you this relaxed before a fight, and yet it's the biggest fight of your life. Why are you so chill right now? Um, I, I'm always like this. I'm, <laughs> I'm chill, but I'm focused also. Yeah. You said your entire life you've been preparing for this moment. Now that it's here and you look back on, on your life and your career, what does this mean to you to have reached the apex? It, it, it means a lot, but uh, at the same time, I'm just trying to forget about everything what I went through. Uh, I say thank you for everything, for everyone. And now I just focus on uh, Saturday. And I just need to eat right, sleep, and be ready on October 12th. Can you sleep before a fight like this? Is it hard to go to bed? No, no. To be honest, uh, I, I got used to it. You know, I'm, I'm in this uh, field since I remember myself, since six years old. I'm fighting, I'm, I'm in this mood, I have to sleep. Yeah. A lot of fighters say they treat every opponent the same. In preparation for Bitter Bia, do you treat this fight camp and this opponent the same as you have every other fighter? Uh, <laughs> most of it, yeah, most of it the same, because uh, all my opponents I respect very well. I was preparing them for 100% and uh, for this fight also. Uh, I was trying to reach my limits for preparation. I was working hard. You've got a lot of fans here that have come all the way to Saudi Arabia to watch you fight. What's your message to them right now, the eve before your big fight? Yeah, th thank you, guys. It's my friends from uh, all over the world, from uh, Russia, from Kyrgyzstan, from Moldova, from everywhere. And uh, Thank you, guys, for supporting me. All right, best of luck to you. Eddie Hearn, if we could get a word in with you real quick. There's mega...